the throne and the beasts of the elders. And the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand and thousands of thousands. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And every creature, and every creature that w which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth, and such are, and such as are in the sea, and all that are in them heard us saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto who the Lamb forever and ever. Forever. Oh, hallelujah. Revelation 22 and 3, And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and the Lamb shall be in it, and His servants shall serve Him. Come on. The worthy one is who? The Lamb. And it's and is called what? The Lamb. The Lamb. There are millions of people who have trusted Jesus as a prophet Come on. or as a teacher yeah. that will go to hell. You know, it's not to trust in him, in him as a prophet Come on. or as a teacher. you got to trust in Him as the Lamb. Amen. That is how you get your spot in the book of life. Amen. Genesis 22 and 6. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son. And he took the fire in his hand and a knife. And they went both of them together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father, and said, My father. And he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Isaac said, Behold the fire and the blood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? He had what? He had the wood, he had the fire, he had a knife, but there ain't no lamb. Come on. Verse 8 says, And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb Amen. for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. John 8 and 56 says, Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Amen. There had to be a Passover lamb. Come on. Exodus 12 and 3. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for an house. Come on. God said, Follow these instructions. The life of the firstborn depends on this. Come on. Your eternity depends on this. Come on. Get the instru get the instructions right or you die. Come on. And the third or the firstborn will die. So number one, get a lamb. Number two, it must be a male lamb. Number three, without blemish. Number four, on the fourth day of the month, kill, kill that lamb and take the blood of that lamb and put it on the doorpost of the house. Come on. Now on this night, death is coming through, and God said, when I see the blood, I will pass over you and your firstborn will not die. Come on. But if I don't see the blood, yeah. your firstborn will die. Come on. Yeah. See, if Moses had not have told them to do this, the firstborn would have died. Yeah. So Moses gets the people together and says, listen carefully. God told me. Number one, get a lamb. Number two, it must be a male lamb. Number three, without blemish. And then number four. If that blood supply, you will be protected. But if the blood is not applied, as I had said, the firstborn will be taken. Amen. The only way, no other way, it had to be God's way. The blood had to be on the door post. Come on. That means the Baptist people who don't have the blood on their doorpost will die and go to hell. The Methodists. Come on. The Pentecostal. Anyone who don't have the blood applied. Yep. He didn't say everybody that joins the church. Come on. Or anyone who gives, who lives a good life or pays their tithes, they need the blood applied. Come on. Amen. Amen. Come on. I'm sure some of the Egyptians lived a better life than the Israelites. Yeah. You ain't gonna get to heaven because 
you'll live a good life. But because the blood is applied. Amen. For the cleansing of the leper, the priest shall take one he lamb yeah. and offer him for a trespass offering and the log of oil and wave them for a wave offering before the Lord. For the trespass offering, and the priest shall take the lamb of the trespass offering and the log of oil, and the priest shall wave them for a wave offering before the Lord. Morning and night sacrifice. Morning and evening sacrifice. The one lamb thou shalt, shalt thou offer in the morning, and the other lamb thou shalt offer at even. Come on. Isaiah, looking down through time, sees the lamb. Isaiah 53 and 7, He is oppressed and he is afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb. So he openeth not his mouth. Seven hundred years later, Philip will read these words. Acts 8 and 32, the place of the scripture which he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and like a lamb down before a shearer, so open not, he not his mouth. Amen. Now listen carefully. Many people have trusted Jesus as king, but that won't get you into heaven. Come on. Many people have trusted Jesus as high priest. That won't get you into heaven. Oh, amen. Many people have trusted Jesus as a prophet. Come that on. That won't get you into heaven. Amen. What do you need to get into heaven? The lamb. John 1 and 29. The next day, John seeth Jesus coming unto him and saith, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. He doesn't stand there and say, Behold the King of Kings. He don't stand there and proclaim there is the Lord of Lords. Yes. You don't need a king to get saved. You need a Lamb. Amen. A spotless Lamb. Oh, yeah. He didn't say, Behold the king. You don't get saved by beholding a king, as I said. Come on. The Egyptian, the Egyptians probably look at their king every day and still their their firstborn dad. Come on. Yeah. Amen. That's good preaching. He didn't say behold the priest. You don't get saved by the priest. No. Amen. First Peter 1.19 says, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb, without blemish and without spot. 1 Corinthians 5 and 7, Purge out therefore the old laven, I think that's how it's pronounced, that ye may be a new lump as ye are unlavened. For even Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Amen. Do you get it? Well, I get it. Amen. I was a sinner and I needed a Savior. Come on, amen. I needed a substitute. Yeah. If you trust Him as King, you'll die and go to hell. If you trust Him as Priest, you'll die and go to hell. If you trust Him as Lamb, you'll die and go to heaven. Amen. What you need is a sacrifice. Amen. Behold the Lamb that taketh away the sins of the world. Amen. God closes his book with mention after mention of this lamb. We expect him to come as king in prophecy. This is what is to come. Rarely is he mentioned as a king in prophecy. From Genesis to Revelation, from eternity past to eternity future, it takes the lamb. Amen. Before the foundation of the world, John said that there was a lamb. Amen. Ready to be sacrificed. Amen. When it talks about the Lamb, it's talking about the cross. Just as the Lamb of the Old Testament was slain on the altar, He was slain on the cross. Amen. Before you, before you get saved, you have to realize that you're lost first. Amen. Come on. That you're a sinner and you need a Savior, not a king, Come on. a Lamb. Amen. Amen. The Savior. You have to, we must realize we have the wood ready, we have the fire ready, but we need the lamb. Come on. No one will ever walk the streets of heaven without knowing that they were once a sinner. 
Amen. Amen. Worthy is the Lamb. Sufficient is the Lamb. It's not the Lamb plus baptism. Sufficient is the Lamb. It's not the Lamb plus good works. It's not the Lamb plus communion. It's not the Lamb plus joining the church. It's not the Lamb plus giving money to the church. Come it's on. the Lamb plus nothing. Sufficient is the Lamb. Amen. I'm telling you that we must look to the finished work of God's Lamb when He laid down His life as the only sufficient means of salvation. No man was worthy to open the book. Revelations 5 and 1, And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within, and on the back sat sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven, nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, Mom. neither to look thereon. So not Buddha, not all. Come on. Could open. No one could open it. Revelations 5 and 4. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals. Thereof. Come on. Verse 6. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elder, elders, stood a lamb Amen. as it had been slain. Amen. Nobody could open it, but someone said, Weep not. Yeah. Jesus came, not with a crown of jewels yeah. on his head, but as a lamb. Amen. No lamb, no redemption. No lamb, no Holy Ghost. No lamb, no justification. No Come lamb, on. no yeah. Five, Revelations 5 and 9 And they sung a new song saying Thou art worthy to take the book And to open the seals thereof For thou wast slain And hast redeemed us to God By thy blood Out of every kindred and tongue And people and nation Verse 16 6, 15 of Revelation And said to the mountains and rocks Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. Verse 17, For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? No, everyone in hell will go there because they didn't trust him as Lamb. Come on. You have to trust him as Lamb. No Lamb, no redemption from hell. No Lamb, hell, fire, and brimstone. Amen. No Lamb, eternity without God. No Lamb, no victory. No Lamb, no hope. Come on. Amen. Stop and ask yourself, are you trusting them as lamb or not? Come on. No lamb, no white robes. Revelation 7 and 9 says, After this I beheld in law a great multitude, which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. If you trust Jesus as your king, if that's all, you got you got to burn in hell for Come eternity. On. No lamb, no overcoming of sin. No lamb, no o overcoming the world, the flesh, and the devil. Amen. Revelations 13 and 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb Slain from the foundation of the world. Amen. Before the foundation of the world, God knew that we was going to fall. Come on. He had the answer to victory before He even created heaven Come on. and the angels. Before the trees, the sea, the mountains, before anything, He had the answer. Amen. We needed a lamb. To be saved. Amen. You'll never reign with him as king until you have trusted him as the lamb. Revelations 19.7 Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamb is come and his wife hath made herself ready. 